So let's talk Roni Legacy. I think it's a brilliant idea by Bravo to bring together this group of women in what will be an economical venture. Roni Legacy was held up because of negotiations. So Jill Zarin walked out because she wasn't being paid the same as the other women. And that makes sense because it was a brand new show. So they all overplayed their hands. She walked away and talked about it publicly, which is presumably why she's not on this legacy trip cast. They all walked away because they wanted to be paid what they were paid before. They have precedent. So that whole thing got scrapped. Now, Bravo's taking them all to St. Bart's to where season five was located in that house where Luann was asked about her tryst with the pirate and Sonia had her own tryst and now they're taking them all there but instead of having eight to twelve episodes for three four months and having to pay people hundreds of thousands of dollars Bravo went the economical route and they said put them on an island for one week we'll get multiple episodes and we can pay each of them a hundred grand all of them together will be less than one housewife would have been for several months. So this seems to be Bravo's new economical model. And these women get the relevance that they are craving, desiring, and desperately need. And everybody seems to win. So I like it, Picasso. And the group seems great. I love Kristen. She's so sweet. And you need someone a little calmer in that group. So the games begin.